Stephen Hawking is in the news today. He has an exciting new result. Hawking has proven that God does not exist. Well, that's not exactly it, but you still might be wondering what exactly is it that Stephen Hawking, a mathematical physicist, has to tell us about the existence of God. The answer is he does actually have a point to make. He's using ideas from modern science to make a point about what we need to assume in order to explain the universe around us. In particular, that science has progressed to the point where you don't need to go outside the universe to explain the universe. You can have a self-contained understanding of not only how things work here in the lab, but why the universe itself exists. Partly, Hawking's argument is based on really deep ideas in fundamental physics. He's using general relativity, Einstein's theory of gravity, with quantum mechanics, our idea that nature at a fundamental level is a little bit uncertain. There can be fluctuations. Things can happen spontaneously. The point about general relativity is that Einstein says that space and time are flexible. They're not set once and for all, as in Isaac Newton's universe. They can change. They can move. They can even come into existence. And the best part is, the energy of the entire universe, according to Einstein, is exactly zero. You can create a compact, self-contained universe without needing any energy at all. There's no limit on how many universes you can make. You can either have a universe be created out of some pre-existing parent space-time, or the universe could just come into existence out of nothing. Now you take that and you add to that quantum mechanics, the idea that if something can happen, it is going to happen. The idea that there's a space of possibilities and the universe explores the entire space. If that's true and you just wait long enough, a universe like ours will come into existence. So what Hawking says is that the ancient question, why is there something rather than nothing, has been answered by modern physics. Now you might be skeptical that this answer is a good one. You might not believe that we understand why there is something rather than nothing, but that's not really the point. The point is that you could imagine an understanding of the universe, why it came into existence, without ever leaving the laws of nature, without ever invoking some divine, some supernatural being. The universe could just obey its own laws. It could be a natural, physical, material universe obeying the laws of physics, and that can be a complete explanation of everything. So you might say that's not a proof that God doesn't exist whatsoever. God can still exist even if he didn't create the universe or have anything to do with creating the universe. And of course that is true. Hawking did not prove that God does not exist. What he's pointing out is that as far as science is concerned, there's no role for God in understanding the universe as we see it. You can still believe in God if you want, as long as you believe in a God that just doesn't do anything to the universe. God did not create the universe, does not influence the universe in any way. That's the lesson of modern science. The universe runs by itself. We can choose to live in that universe, we can choose to imagine that there's all sorts of other things that we don't see in the universe, but we can get along just fine with the universe and nothing outside.